What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and Apple is ending support for the iPhone 5. Let's get started. Okay, so today Apple just dropped iOS 10.3.2 Beta 1 earlier today. Now, for whatever reason, Apple did not release iOS 10.3.1, which is kind of odd because usually when you're counting, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, not 2, 3, 4. I don't know. Apple doesn't know how to count. They're clearly a little bit confused at the moment because, you know, they released that red iPhone. So, yeah. But anyways, let's get back to the point. So I was 10.3.2 beta was just released and they are killing support for the iPhone 5. So let's just all have a little bit of a moment for the iPhone 5. So yeah, I'm not even joking, all 32-bit devices will no longer work because Apple is ending support. So if you don't know why, iOS 10 is actually made for 64-bit devices. They sort of have to cripple the software so it runs on all devices good enough because of the iPhone 5. So iOS 10 is actually a little bit crippled because of this. So if Apple gets rid of the 32-bit devices, they can optimize iOS 10 way more for all the 64-bit devices, so it makes way more sense just to drop a few 32-bit devices rather than having to make updates for those devices that very little people have for a pointless cause. So long story short, iOS is going to be way faster because of the drop of all the 32-bit devices. So the 32-bit devices are hindering the ability of all the 64-bit devices to perform better because Apple has to make an iOS version that pretty much runs on all devices. So that is why Apple is dropping all the 32-bit devices. So this will not affect affect users with 32-bit devices probably for a few weeks. So Apple is actually sort of hinting at this because if you looked at all the apps on iOS 10.3 beta, if you looked at all those betas, Apple had a feature where it would come up with a pop-up basically letting you know to let the developer of the app know to basically quit support for 32-bit devices and to make support better for 64-bit devices. So yeah, Apple is just trying to make support way better and performance way better for 64-bit devices. So if you have any Apple device with a 32-bit processor, that will no longer be supported and will no longer work on the current version of iOS in a few 